Chapter 11 of the Introduction to Psychology focused on stress, health, and human flourishing. So just some of the main focuses of the chapter started off with the definition of stress, and stress is caused by a primary stressor, which can be labeled as one of three things, a catastrophe, a significant life change, or daily hassles. Stress is not only a psychological thing, but it has can have a lot of psychological impacts, including weakened immune system, increased risk of heart disease, and increased inflammatory responses in the body, which can result in even worse consequences. It also moved on to anger and how that can affect can be caused by stressors and by stress itself. And sometimes releasing the anger that's built up can be even worse in the long run, so it's best to distance oneself from a situation that causes you to be angry or to find a healthy distraction. There are two forms of stress, uh, ways to cope with stress. We can either work with the stress directly or we can work with coping with the emotions that are caused by the stress. And then as it moved on to optimism and pessimism, that's, that's something that I always think about a lot because it's better to be optimistic and obviously the studies show that people who are more optimistic tend to live longer lives. But th I feel like there's times when there needs to be, you can't just see the bright side of things, you have to be able to see the darker side of things. And I mean, optimism, you try to find the best in every situation, but I don't know if you, there is always a better side to the situation. And then in terms of reducing stress, it, the first one that listed was aerobic exercise, and I think that that's really crucial to reducing stress, especially for me whenever I'm stressed, like especially during finals week, I went on a lot of runs and I swam a lot because it would help uh, bring down my stress levels. And then when it talked about happiness, being able to reduce stress, it reminded me of the end of the last chapter where even forcing a smile can increase, can facilitate the action that causes happiness. Overall, it was a very interesting chapter, and I am interested to see how it will carry on for the rest of the year.